welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play the Guild of Dungeoneering. In the last episode, we have two Dungeoneers. Oselda was able to make it through the first mission, and we now have an apprentice called Plom. Indeed. Uh, I'm not so sure if Plom's uh, abilities, so this is Plom. Um, you can see Plom, he's got a lot of, uh, a lot of magic cards here. Um, plus the trait is talented, starts with Fire 1. Very nice. So we've got Sparks, two of them. Which is, deal one magic damage, unblockable. Um, we have Zap, which is one magic damage, quick. And we have two fire shields here, which is deal one magic damage, block one magic damage. And Intuition, draw two cards. That could be very overpowered. So, let's go exploring, shall we? And do the last step of the Rats mission with Plom the Apprentice. Defeat the Rat King. Quest two, Rat Pack. Let's go. We'll take Plom with us, because Plom is a lot better than our chump. Sorry, Zelda. Sorry about that. But still. So, this is Plom. Squeak indeed. We have to defeat the Rat King over here. Arm 3, Irritable 3, Feral 3. 7 health, it has Leader. Plus 1 health for each surrounding minion. That's any minion around... Including diagonal, so this guy is actually giving him a, a bit of a boost. We have to get rid of him sharpish. Uh, but first, I want to show these off. Rune of Fates. Defeat a monster uh, on this rune to gain a favor with the fates. This is a new thing they brought in. Let's fight a, let's fight a nasty rat, shall we? And get some silver coins for money. Good grief, who does these silver coins just sitting on the ground like this? Indeed. So, the nasty rat... Claw. Okay, that's fine. I will attack with sparks. We both have five health, so uh, this could be a bit tricky. Neurotoxin. Oh. All right. All right, you're going to attack me. I'm going to draw two cards. You got rid of my sparks. Damn you. Bite now. Uh, let's go for a fire blast. We're both on two health now. This is getting dicey. Bite again. Let's go for a fire sheet and sparks. Let's go for sparks. I nearly, I very nearly clicked on what I should not have clicked on. So as you can see, I'm going to die. Because that will hit me and I'll be down to zero health. Unless I have this card, Zap. So as you can see, my attack goes first. To the point of, he can't attack me. So, quick card's always good. We also have Cupper, which gives us fire one. Which actually gives us fire two because we are talented and already have fire one. Which gives us Flame Lash. Two magic damage quick. Very nice. We have a Woolly Hat. Which gives us a Stupidity card and plus one health. Or a Wooden Board which gives us Repel. Armor one. I'm going to go for the Cupper here. Because I want to deal more damage. However, we not only got some gold. But we got an extra Fate here. We got Favor from the Fates. Now, you can, sa you can save up these points by defeating monsters in uh, Rune of Fate rooms. Um, you can then use these favors in battle. So, for one fate, you can draw a card. Uh, you can burn one apprentice card for two fate. That means if there's a, 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 an apprentice card like a stupidity, I don't think it counts for stupidity actually, but your basic abilities, uh, then you can get rid of it. And it's actually very nice. Um, like for the entire dungeon. And lastly, discard monster's current card for three fate. We, for the moment, are okay. So I'm just going to keep going here and fight another nasty rat. Oh, majestic nasty rat. A fine specimen, too. Not sure if majestic and nasty should be in the same sentence. Anyway, oh, by the way, uh, just in case anyone didn't know, when we level up, we gain a health point, which is always nice. So now we have six health instead of five. So with this, we'll just uh, deal some damage to Mr. Ratman over here, Mr. Ratface. Rat boy. Neurotoxin. Okay, that's fine. I'll use my newly acquired Flame Lash to defeat you. And make sure Neurotoxin gets nowhere near me. So we have a Wooden Board again. But we will get rid of Flame Lash. Ruffled Shirt, which gives a Swift 1. Or a Fork, which gives a Slice. Deals 2 physical damage. I'm going to go for the Fork here. We literally have a Cup and a Fork. We are ready for tea. Damn right we're ready for tea. I can't actually move forward. Oh, no, wait, I can. Of course I can. There you go. So we'll use another Rune of Fates here and get a Ratman. 
Silver coins? Simply vulgar, indeed. You want more than just silver coins. You want gems and stuff. So, the Rat Man is a level 2 monster. Uh, with 6 health. It has Bite, which is a Feral 2. Which you can attack with Fire Blast here to take a bit of a lead. Ooh, Anger. Very nice. I'm going to use Fire Shield here. I'm not going to be able to block the attack, but I'll deal one attack back. Strike. Uh, that's fine. I'll use Fire Shield here again. I want to keep my unblockable just in case he's got an unblockable card, which he doesn't. Uh, no, I win. I win. I, I have, I'll have one health left. So I win. Just barely, but I win. Level up. We have a male coif, which gives us two stupidity cards, but two health. A ski pole, which gives us plus two health, but fate cursed. Minus two health if you have no favor with the fates. Luckily, we do. And a glyph. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, so, glyphs are good. Um, it gives us Holy One, Arcane One. We do lose Flame Lash, but we get two good cards. Holy Seal, block one, block any one damage. Plus, we get one health for every damage blocked. And we have Mind Strike. One magic damage, draw a card. I'm going to take the glyph here. That gets rid of Flame Lash, but it's going to be worth it. Trust me. Alright, we still need to defeat the old Rat King. Okay, let's put a room... We can't put a room there. Let's put a room there, though. Let's take out him, but for the moment, we're just going to take out you. So, let's smack him in the face! Alright, headbutt again. Okay, we could block that. We could half block that. Let's half block it, shall we? You dealt no damage to me, pretty much. Strike now. I have Mind Strike. It's not the same, but it allowed me to draw a card. Parry. Nice. But, uh, that's fine. I'll just stay in the lead, just barely. Head blow. Enemy discards a card. Ooh. Okay, I just hope it's not Zap. It wasn't Zap. Okay, I'm happy. Uh, and I win. With the power of the Zap. I win. That was not too bad. What have we got here? We got Sparkly Headband, which gives us Holy One, Fire One. We get Flame Lash again. We get Flame Lash back. We also get Smite, which deals two magic damage, block one magic damage. We also have a Shimmering Cloak, which gives us Arcane One, Fire One. So we get Flame Lash, we get Focus, which is Arcane Two. Plus one to next magic attack, plus one health, and draw a card. I'm going to take the Cloak here. As you can see, our character starts looking a little bit differently. Um... Every so often. And yes, oi! Uh, I, 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 I mean squeak, obviously. Right. Um, what can we do? We could pop that there. There we go. Another room room of fates. Let's let's fight a null, shall we? We haven't fought a null yet. It has arm two, irritable three, nature two, and it has the ability fury. All physical attacks deal plus one damage if on half health or less. Fury is a risky trait to go up against. Good if it's on your side, though. So first off, is Neurotoxin. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to use my strongest attack. Ah, you didn't get rid of Zap. Good. Anger now. Okay. This will put him into Fury. There we go. Fury is now activated. Oh, three damage now with Headbutt instead of two. But we have won. We have won with the power of Zap, and he will deal damage to himself. Nice. Okay, what have we got? We've got a Cooking Pot, which gives us Crush 1, Fire 1. That gives us Bash, which, uh, plus 1 physical damage, block 1 physical, plus Fire 3's Ignite. Pl uh, 1 magic damage and 1 magic damage each turn. It pretty much gives the opponent the burn trait, so they will take 1 fire damage per turn. I'm fairly certain I'm going to take that. Anchor, mm, it's good, don't get me wrong, it is great. Club is alright. I would take Anchor over Club. But I'm going to take the Cooking Pot for Ignite. We want Ignite. Right. Ooh, a massive gem. Massive gem. I'm just trying to find now a way to get to the Rat King. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. Oh, no. We, no, we can't. We can't. We haven't got a room there. Okay. This could take a while. But until then, we will just fight this nasty rat. 
This could take a while. Sometimes you just need to wait for the right ability to come along. Okay, so uh, if successful, enemy discards. Okay, I'll just mind strike. You got rid of the one I wanted. Thank you, you annoying git. And then we we'll use some sparks here, just to just to keep us with a, a, a fresh set of hand, pretty much. I can't block that with bash, which is a shame. Also, have you seen our deck size? That's a fairly large deck. Right, we can block that with bash, but I'm going to actually use ignite here just to show it off. Damage! And they take fire damage at the start of every round, which is one. Very nice. Right, we have a newspaper hat, which gives us wise, the trait wise. Plus one starting handed battle, but it does give us a stupidity card, and we lose ignite. No. Twig! We get slam, which is pretty much like slice, only it's unblockable, so it's very good. Or the scarf, which... No, no. We'll, we'll, we'll go for twig. What did that give us? Yes, smite. No, we want the twig. It just gives us now an unblockable physical attack instead of just a physical attack that does two damage. All in all, better. We still can't get into that room. Ugh. Right. Uh, Mars will shove a rat man in there, I think. Go, plum! You can do this. You can so do this. Of course you can do this. You're plum. Right, we'll kick up with a fire shield here. We should win this fairly easily. Parry. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just use fire shield here. There we go. Right. It's getting a bit close. But I think we have won. Unless you deal... Actually, no, no, no. You've lost. Regardless of what you do, you'd have had to have blocked my flame lash. And you couldn't. Victory for me. Right. We have a hook. No. A sparkly headband. We get smite. We lose slam. Or a scoop. Okay, that's actually really good. Uh, we get shift, which is uh, one physical damage quick draw card. And arcane barrage, which is three magic damage unblockable. It's an arcane three. I'm going to take scoop. I'm taking the scoop. And we get another rune. Very nice. I still can't get anywhere. God damn it. Ugh, I, need, I just need now to wait. The problem is, that's going to be really tough to try and do. Ugh. Right, headbutt to kick things off. That's fine by me. You can smack me. I'll smack you back. Parry now. Okay, mind strike. This is a bit wary. I We both have three health. Bite. Okay. Um, uh, oh, God. I don't know what to do here. I really don't know what to do. Um, okay, let's shift. We need to draw a card. If this is a two damage and I don't have a way to beat it, I lose. It's not. It's head blow. Unholy oh, seal. Which allows us to block it and get a health. We've won. We have won. It was close, but we have won. With the bash card, we win against the rat man. That was close. Right, what have we got now? We've got a shimmering cloak, which we can sell for two gold. I'm probably going to do that. Mail, mail call if we don't want, and we definitely don't want stiletto. We'll just get some money. Uh, we can use that, can't we? Yes, we can. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's take on another Knoll before we take on the Rat King. Yes, it gives him some health, but he'll lose the health because we're about to kill the Knoll. Head blow. Okay, you want me to discard a card? I'll draw a card with Mind Strike. And you got rid of Sparks. Damn you. Okay, Anger. Oh, here, here comes some damage. Here comes some damage. Focus first. And then Arcane Barrage for the win. Look at all this damage. Ooh! Didn't even get a chance to use Fury. Yeah, this is becoming a bit overpowered. Very overpowered. And I do not want any of that. So I'm just going to take some gold. Which was a gold pouch. Okay, cool. Now it's time to take on the Rat King. Good grief, he just leaves a gold pouch just sitting on the ground like this. I know. It's weird. Right, we might as well use the favors and see what they do. So, uh, if I don't like headbutt, I could get rid of that. But I'm actually just going to draw cards. There you go. And that's what the favors do, folks. So, I'm going to cast Ignite here. So, you're going to deal two damage to me. I'm going to burn you. I have burnt the Rat King. And, in fact, he is lost. He has lost thanks to Fire Blast. One damage, two more damage, and then burnt. Victory for Plom! Levels up as well. 
And we win! Do you have any decency, I wonder? Like the ivory league of explorers. Instead you pillage and plunder and rip everything asunder. You're just a reckless bunch of marauders. Yes, we are, apparently. So, we got a lot of rewards there. Look at that, 116 gold. Very nice. Um, our bonuses, we've unlocked new areas like the Trophy Room. Uh, and new adventures like Fire Lord, A Victimless Crime, and Goblins! So, the Battle Scar for Plom is Punch Drunk. Starts with Stupidity 1. Great. Thanks, Plom. Appreciate it. But never mind, never mind, we will be fine. But now we have a new area, the trophy room. Caught up in all this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked. It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. Yeah, so we'll be reflecting on the fact that we cut off the Rat King's tail. Yes, our first trophy is a tail of a rat. Good to know. Right, let's expand the guild. We've got 125 coins. Which we can get possibly a new dungeon here, like the Bruiser. We can get some talismans, maybe. But I'm going to try and unlock some more items. Do we want that? Mm, Cura Shop's okay. Let's try the Woodworker. Yeah, I think the woodwork is what we're going to be wanting. So we get things like Snowman Body, Crush 1, Armor 2. Uh, ski Goggles, Armor 1, plus 1 health. The Conch, Arcane 3 in Stupidity. Uh, Spyglass, which gives us the ability Ranged. Which is very nice. I believe Ranged is any physical attack becomes quick. Um, and if it's already quick, gains 1 physical damage. Uh, the Heater Shield, which is Fire 2, one health, plus 1 health. Crossbow is Swift 2, Arcane 1 is Arcane 1, Growth 1, and the Hand Axe is Crush 1, Blade 1. Very good stuff altogether. So let's get our Woodworkers and get ourselves some more stuff. Let's also expand the guild and get ourselves a Talisman, I think. Why not? So we have Talisman of the Warrior, unlocks Warrior Spirit, which plus 1 to first physical damage in battle for the first two fights. Very good. Um, Talisman of the Trickster gets us Trickster's Favor, which... Plus one loot chance. Uh, loot choice slot after the first two fights. Oh, was that? Oh, after the first two fights. Okay. Um, we have the Talisman of Heal Aid. It locks Hug in a Bottle. Plus one health for the first two fights. That's actually really good. And last but not least, the Talisman of the Crone gets Crone's Knowledge, which plus one starting hand size in battle for the first two fights. I want myself the Talisman of Heal Aid. So there you go, we now have, if we go exploring, let's say, we've got some new stuff as well. What's this? There's more, a whole world to explore. Why there's gold to be found and treasure in store. But what's the point you're all hit and miss? It's so plain to see. You're not cut out for this. So we've unlocked some new areas, and more plot. Ugh, if I never hear another story about clearing out rats, it won't be too soon. My minions, actually scratch that out, employees, did return with some interesting rumours from the Rat King though. There is a mention of a magic orb, the Orb of Nosiness. It's exactly the kind of thing that I could use to keep an eye on the Ivory League. Oh, I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to take them down a peg. The rumours point to uh, more dungeons out in the grasslands. I'll search there first. Ha! <laughs> what am I saying? I'm not stepping foot in that place. That's what I have chumps for. And if they don't want to do it, there's plenty more who are eager to join the guild. I've also decided that from now on, we will be known as the Guild of Dungeoneering. Either that or the Guild of the Ivory League of Explorers is stupid. Can't decide which will look better on our letterhead. Yeah, neither can I, to be honest. So, we now have three more dungeons. Very nice. And I think we'll be doing this one first. Uh, in the next episode, with Plom. But we do now get the blessing, a hug in a bottle. Which gives us plus one health for the first two fights. Very good for the, just to kick off. It's always nice. So folks, I'm going to do for a break here. But in the next episode of Let's Play the Guild of Dungeoneering. Quest 1, 
Fiery foray. Scope out Embro's defenses. I'll see you then.